Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you would show up. Ah, uh, yeah, I realise you're a bit early. I've just been wondering a few things about you that we'll talk about during the session. Please, have a seat. Now then, we'll start off with the most basic question. How have you been this week? Has anything of particular interest happened since I last saw you? Ah, yes. I remember you telling me about a date you had this week. One that you hoped would help you with your social anxiety. So how did it go? Did you two manage to hit it off? No? Ah, it went horrible. Oh, that's really too bad, then. Oh, give me a second to write that down. Patient's date was a floozy. Ah, oh, no, don't worry about that. I'll just be recording some things in my journal for later sessions, like usual, okay? Oh, are you tearing up a bit? Oh, don't worry too much. Here, I'll sit right on the other side of your couch and let you cry it out on my lap. How does that sound? Oh, don't worry about it, dear. Of course, I'd be willing to do that. Now, let me just move over. Now then, why don't you just rest your head right there and... There, there, my patient. You're in a safe place now. You don't have to worry. I'm here for you. Doesn't that feel nice? Your head resting on my lap as I stroke your head and play with your hair? Hmm? Well, you could say that this isn't in our textbooks when we're studying psychology. But, as your therapist, I know what my patients need to feel the best they possibly can. Do you trust that I know what's best for you? Good. Good. You're ready to sit up now. Oh, that's fine. Then... All right, then. Why don't we get to the heart of it now that you've calmed down? I want to hear every detail of how the date went. As your therapist, I don't believe I can help you unless you tell me everything. Oh, let me just get my notepad and I'll uh, write all this down so I can visualise it better. Now you may begin. Uh-huh. Patient went to Floozy's house and had a pleasant meeting and ride to the restaurant. Got you. Patient and Floozy engaged in small talk and had a great time overall during the date. Really now? Everything was great until the ride to the Floozy's home when said Floozy was rather upset due to some unknown error on Patient's part. She would not elaborate further. And what of the advice that I gave you in our last session? To take your chance even when it seems hopeless? Ah, I see. Patient attempted to kiss Floozy, was met with a hearty slap, and left at her doorstep. And that's everything? Any extraneous details? All right. Ah, my recommendation. <laughs> of, of course I have a recommendation. Um, 
that's why I'm here. Well, how about this? Do you know anything about immersion therapy? It's a style that's usually used to overcome fears and anxiety by exposing the patient to their anxieties. What I'm about to suggest, however, is a more relaxed, simple, and fun version of that. Simply put, I'm going to help you by playing the part of the woman that wronged you that night. However, you're going to tell me what would have happened had everything gone right, and I will do my best to accommodate. Does this sound like something you might want to try? Great. Since it seems like we don't have any more time this session, we will have to put this off for next week. Is that all right? Of course. I will do anything in my power to make sure my patients fully recover. See you next week, and don't forget, okay? Bye. Oh, perfect timing. Come in. So, how do I look? I'm so excited for our day today. What do you mean, what's happening? Did you really forget about our date? Even when I told you last week not to forget. Oh, now, now, don't look so shocked. This is all part of your immersion therapy. Of course, we won't actually be going anywhere. We'll be staying here because of facility policy. But I did bring some food for the occasion. Are you still willing to go through with this? Perfect. Let's eat before our food gets cold. Hmm. Ah. It was so considerate of you to order this for me. And it was so nice that you remembered my favourite. You're the best. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Your stories are so interesting. And your jokes are on point. You're such a good date. Hmm? Of course I can stop for a second. What do you need? Is there something wrong with my performance? Playing it up? Well, yes, of course I'm playing it up. I'm simply going off the notes I got from our session last week and my own judgments about your date. She wasn't this receptive. Well, this is all part of your immersion therapy. I'm playing this as though everything in this date is going perfectly. And to your credit, for the parts you have control over, you are being a perfect date. I don't understand what she had against you if this is how you treated her. Okay, how about we go back to the scenario? This has been such a perfect night, but it's getting late and we finished our food a while ago. What do you say we turn in for the night? Uh, offering to drive me. You're too kind. Now, why don't we skip this part as I'm not really allowed to leave the building with my patients and get to the bit where you've driven me home and we're at my doorstep, all right? Wow, this has got to be one of the best dates I've ever had. I can't wait for the next one. So, well, now that we're here, is there anything else you want to do before we leave? Well, there's something I really want to do. Can you guess what? <laughs> You sure catch on quick. <laughs> ah, and that's all we have time for this session. Oh, that. Or oh, maybe I did get a bit carried away with the kiss. But I definitely wasn't expecting you to be so good at it. 
Really? You're a natural. There's no way that Floozy didn't enjoy that. Oh, please, you aren't really sticking up for her, are you? She treated you so horribly that night when you were nothing but perfect. She left you to the streets in the pouring rain as you were about to give her the experience of a lifetime. Really, that girl was so detrimental to your mental health. I don't understand how you can defend her. In fact, my recommendation from now on is that we will have to continue this immersion therapy every week you come here, and if I see fit, more frequently, until you've fully recovered. We will have to roleplay many different scenarios to make sure we are as thorough as possible with your treatment. We may even have to repeat this procedure for months, even years, to completely flush these feelings you've been having. And of course, I'll definitely have to recommend that you stay away from other girls, as long as this procedure is being carried out. We can't have another incident like this one, or it might damage your mental state far more than even this incident. Aren't you glad you have such a considerate therapist that thinks of all the possibilities that could arise before offering treatment? Now then, I trust I will see you next week to continue this immersion therapy. Great! We'll be playing a different scenario for the next one, based off my notes from this session. Now this time, remember what I say. You must come here every week for your treatment, and stay away from other girls that might intend to harm our progress. I will be keeping tabs on you during the week to make sure that is being carried out. If I feel an emergency session is needed, I may call you throughout the week. If you have plans at that time, I would have to ask you that you cancel them and explain that your therapist needs to see you. I'm sure they'll understand if it's for a mental health reason, so even if you're busy at work, it really should be no problem. Now, did you get all of that down? Good. You can go now. My next patient is here to see me, and I need to clean all this up. Safe travels. And of course, don't be late, okay? Bye.